Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we have solved this question, practice problem 13.9, uh, by nodal analysis method earlier. And now we'll uh, try to solve it by mesh analysis method as well. So let's uh, repeat this, that the voltage relation with the turn ratio can be positive only when voltage V1 and V2, this is V1 and this is V2, are both positive or both negative at the dotted terminal. So like here, they're both positive at the dotted terminal, and here both negative at the dotted terminal, then the relationship will have a positive sign. But if they are otherwise, that is one positive dot here and negative dot here, then we'll have to put a minus sign or negative sign here. And same uh, or is true for the current, but it is just opposite of this. That is, let's see if I1 and I2 both enter or both leave the dotted terminal, then we'll use minus sign. So now here, both entering the dot, so minus sign. Here also both entering the dot, minus sign, and both leaving the dot, still minus sign. But if they are otherwise, that is one entering uh, the dot and the other leaving the dot, then we'll have a positive sign. And similarly here, one entering the non-dot and the other entering the dot, then we'll have a positive sign. So we'll use this uh, in the solving the equations. Okay, now let's see practice problem 13.9. We have to find V naught, the voltage across this 8 ohm resistance. And this is the circuit transformer has two dot one on the left hand side top and at the bottom right. And the transformation ratio is 1 into 2, or the turn ratio is 1 into 2. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we have just marked the uh, three mesh currents, I1, I2, and I3. And to make it lo look more like a mesh, this one, what I have done is I have separated the two coils. So this is clearly the third mesh is now visible. And the next is that we, uh, having marked all the currents, we will now mark the voltages. We'll call this voltage as V1 and uh, this voltage as V2. And then we'll mark the polarity. Now the polarity uh, marking, you see this is, uh, looks like a normal, we have positive sign at the top, negative at the bottom. But here, why we are taking it different, because if you see this, if V1 and V2 are both positive or both negative at the dotted terminal, then we have a positive relation or we can use the uh, ratio uh, value plus M. Now to make both positive, this is positive at the dotted terminal and therefore we have to put a positive at this dotted terminal and that is why uh, we have marked it like this. So our equation becomes positive and uh, uh, we don't have to go into negative. But if you want, you can do it otherwise. But I found this to be a simpler way. Okay. So uh, the voltage polarity is marked. And then we'll now try to minimize. We know the relation between V1 and V2, which is 1 is to 2. That is, if we have a uh, V1 here, then this will be 2 times V1. From here, V2 over V1 is N2 over N1, and we are using positive sign, so we take positive here, 2 over 1, and from here V2 is 2 V1, and therefore we'll replace this V2 with V1, so we'll have minimum number of variables. Okay, so this is uh, the circuit. Uh, for the voltage part. Now we'll also mark uh, the current relations. So in the next slide you can see this current is the primary current and this current we are saying it is the secondary current and the relation between current 
in case of a voltage this side was double but in case of a current this will be half that means is over ip will be 1 over 2 and that means is is half of ip so this we have to keep in mind and so we replace is by ip over 2 and now we are all set to write the mesh equations first mesh going from here all the way so minus 120 uh, since the angle is zero therefore we'll just write simply 120 no need of writing zero angle then four times i1 and plus this voltage v1 so this is mesh one then mesh 2 we starting from here 2 v1 plus now what is the volt the current here i2 minus i1 so 2 i2 minus i1 and plus 8 i2 so this is our uh, mesh 2 equation and then we come to mesh 3 now we are starting from here that is why i had widened it so you can clearly see that the voltage here first is minus v1 then 8 i1 minus v1 then 8 i3 then here 2 i3 minus i2 so 2 i3 minus i2 and then coming down it is minus 2 v1 so this is our third equation so we'll simplify and solve these three equations we'll try to eliminate one of the variables from here so if we uh, work with three variables only and that variable uh, uh, i2 is easy to eliminate because in this we don't have i2 uh, we uh, so if we el eliminate from here i2 then we'll have v1 i3 uh, and maybe i1 so let's see now for that from coil 2 you can see this is this what is this current which we calling ip by 2 is basically i3 minus i2 so you can write that i3 minus i2 is equal to ip by 2 and what is ip from here ip is i1 minus i3 so ip is i1 minus i3 divided by 2 and from here manipulating we get this relation and further manipulating we get i2 to be 3 i3 minus i1 over 2 so we will use this value uh, which is now in I2 in terms of I3 and I1 in these two uh, equations. Okay, so we were here, we had these three equations and we had uh, found this relation for I2. Rewriting the first equation, we're just arranging first V1, then 4I1, then I, there is no I3, so I'm writing it 0 equal to 120. So this is now our equation number 4 mesh 2 mesh 2 will eliminate i2 so simplifying opening putting the value of i2 here further simplifying and further simplifying this is our final equation which is in terms of v1 i1 and i3 so this is our equation number 5 and same way for equation 3 or the mesh 3 will simplify simplify and eliminate i2 so putting value of i2 and this is our final value so this is our uh, uh, last equation third equation which is equation number six so we can summarize that this is our equation number four from here this is equation five and this is equation six so we can solve this equation now and so we were we had all these three we can use now the matrix relation or matrix equation to solve this so we have written all the magnitudes of this the variables v1 i1 and i3 and the output voltage so from here we are interested to find i3 why i3 because i3 will give us v naught we have to find v naught 
So 8 times I3 will give us V0. So we are only interested to find I3. So this is delta and I3, we can, sorry, I3 we can write as delta 3 over delta. So first delta and I hope you know how to solve this. So the answer is minus 260. And then for delta 3, we will replace the third column. So this will replace the third column uh, with the output and then solve. So this is our delta 3 and therefore I3 is delta 3 over delta putting in the value 6 amperes. And now we are ready to find V0. So V0 is 8 times I3 which is 8 into 6 is equal to 48 volts. So I hope uh, uh, this is another technique that we have learned and whichever you are more comfortable with you can follow that technique thank you